Yo, what's up, Scooty fam? This is Tinker here, and it has been eight long months since I've been with you here on YouTube. I'm glad to be back. And thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I am stoked that you're here with me. And over these eight months, I have had so much stuff happen. And I'm gonna explain everything to you today. What's going on? Where have I been? Where am I going? Because there's a lot of cool stuff that's coming. And I, first of all, I wanna say thank you to all you guys. I have received so many comments and DMs and emails from people asking me, Tinker, where'd you go, man? What's going on? What's happening in Jericho? What's going on at Scooty Sauce? All the stuff. And I wanna make sure I answer all that for you today. So if you follow me here, you know that my last video that I published was on February the 18th with Cody Flom. Cody was in town here in Daytona Beach. We had him on site for an event at SFC Jericho Skate Park, and it was an awesome time. I always feel weird when these guys come and go because I like, I love hanging out with these dudes. Like I love Cody and Raymond and, and Tyler and Bobby and all these dudes. It's so much fun to hang out with these guys, but you know, they live their lives over on the West Coast, unfortunately. I used to live in California. Now I live here in Florida, at least for now. And so I miss those guys when they're gone, but you know what? We all have these transitions that we go through in life. We all go through these things where there's cool stuff that happens, there's crappy stuff that happens, but you know what, that's our lives. And we learn how to deal with that. We learn how to live through that and we learn how to make the best of it. So some of you guys that follow me know that I'm heavy into technology. So from a work perspective, I spend a lot of time working on technology kind of things and, and so forth. And so my job keeps me very busy, but some of my passions are action sports, as you guys are fully aware, especially scootering. And so about the end of 2018, I was going through a bit of a job transition. I wasn't changing companies, but our company was changing. And there were new things and new ideas and all kinds of cool stuff that was happening. And it started to look like that I was gonna need to move from here in Florida. I live in Daytona Beach, and I was gonna need to move to Asheville, North Carolina. Now that's a super weird transition, especially for me, because I'm not really a mountains guy, and Asheville, North Carolina is right in the middle of the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's gorgeous up there, but I'm more of a beach guy, more of an ocean guy. I've always lived, not always, but for a large, large part of my life, I've lived by the ocean, and I've spent a lot of time in the water, and I love the beach, and I love to surf, though I haven't been surfing in a long time. So anyway, things were looking like we were gonna need to sell our house here in Florida and move to North Carolina. So we started working with a realtor, started working some things out, and then um, eventually we put our house on the market. We actually put our house on the market earlier in the year, in April, and it just wasn't moving, you know? Things were, things were going really slow, and um, we missed an opportunity, which was a real bummer, but um, I believe that God's timing is right. Uh, you know, I, I believe that God puts us in, in the right place at the right time and the right things happen when they're supposed to happen. So we just kind of wait and trust that the timing is going to be right and, and we'll get a buyer for our house when the time comes. So going back to kind of the first of the year, you know, SFC Jericho, I've been a part of that. I, ha I actually helped to launch SFC Jericho Skate Park years ago for a long time it was just booming i mean we were constantly busy and it was it was pretty much all consuming for my life i mean everything that i did revolved around what we were doing at the skate park you know whether i could travel or not or whether i had time to do some other things that i wanted or not i was constantly busy with what we were doing at the skate park and i loved it i loved planning events and being with you guys and and flying in the pros and hanging out with you guys and recording vlogs and all that stuff it was really cool but i'm starting to go through this transition right and so I had to start stepping away from Jericho, from the skate park. So at the beginning of the year, I actually told Bob, uh, my partner there at the skate park, I said, listen, man, I'm, be, I'm gonna help you for a little bit behind the scenes, but I'm not gonna really be able to be on site much anymore because I got some other things that I need to do and I knew that work was changing and so forth. So as time went on, um, I backed further and further out of the skate park and unfortunately, in August of this year, the skate park ended up having to close. And that's a super bummer, I know, I hate that. I, I love what was happening at the skate park here in Daytona Beach. And fortunately, the guy that actually owns that property, uh, Martin Ramos, 
is still, um, he has reopened that property. And I believe they probably renamed it Stone Edge, which was the original name. And the kids here still have a place to go. You guys, I'm so thankful that you guys still have a place to go to call your own and ride scooters because we really built that park with love. And we love the scooter community. And I, I hope that you guys will continue to feel welcome there and that you'll enjoy what you have at that skate park. And so, Martin, thank you so much, man, for uh, taking that part back over and keeping it going, man, because I'm stoked that the kids still have a place to ride. Okay, so more about my personal life. So now let's kind of leap forward to where I'm at today. And there's a lot of really cool stuff that's happening. Matter of fact, the house is in the process of being sold right now. And the idea is that we'll be in North Carolina before Thanksgiving, which is really what I hope because the holidays really mean a lot to me and my family. I mean, Thanksgiving and Christmas, if you don't live here in the United States, you don't obviously you don't have Thanksgiving, but uh, Thanksgiving is a holiday here in the States that we celebrate as Americans, and I love it. It's always been a very powerful and a, and a great time for me and my family. And then we have Christmas time, and fortunately, we all celebrate Christmas around the world, not everybody, but most of you celebrate Christmas, and uh, we really would like to be there in our new home in North Carolina before the Christmas season hits. All right, so what am I doing right now? As I backed away from the skate park, it's not like I had extra free time. It's not like I had all this extra time in my hands. I had to find stuff to do, but I, I was transitioning. And I still run Scooty Sauce. I still love Scooty Sauce, and I'm still highly invested in Scooty Sauce. Me and Kind of Eversham still run Scooty Sauce. It's still growing. And thank you guys for being there. I'm still 100% committed to Scooty Sauce. And we're gonna continue to see that through and let that be an awesome resource for the scootering community. If you don't already follow Scooty Sauce on Instagram, you need to go to Scooty Sauce and follow it right now. One of the things I fell in love with as I've been going through this transition is social media media and that's not new news to you guys because you guys all know that I've, I've made videos before about my work in social media and it all kind of falls right into my um, my technology background so I, I'm fascinated by the way social media works it's just it's just a cool space and it can be a detrimental space it can be a space where people use it for the wrong things it could be a space where people get so heavily invested in it that they lose touch with reality I get all of that but if we use it appropriately if we use it right it's an awesome tool for us to connect and to share cool stuff with each other and in the process of this transition that I've been going through, I connected with a guy, I made friends with a guy named Thor Arsand. You need to look up Thor Arsand. You can find his website, go to go to thorarsand.com. And Thor just, this is a brand new website Thor just put up. Thor has been in social media influencer, specifically um, Instagram social media. And one of the things you're gonna learn about Thor is that Thor's not new to the game. He's been in Instagram for years. And matter of fact, everything, most everything that I learned about Instagram and social media marketing, I learned from Thor. And you know, a cool thing happened. Um, it's one thing to watch a guy's videos and learn from him because Thor puts out a lot of really value-based content. It's pretty awesome stuff. And I learned a lot, I implemented a lot of his strategies, and that's how we built Scooty Sauce, actually. You know, we built the whole idea of Scooty Sauce around his ideology, the things that he teaches. There's some other cool guys like Leo Maud and Anthony Groper. Those guys make awesome content too, and they have lots of great Great advice and so I've learned a lot from a lot of these guys and what I find is that the more I hang out with influencers you know a guy like Thor or a guy like Raymond Warner or a guy like Cody Flom you know these guys these guys are the same people that you meet in public so when you hang out with them in public like if you go to a meet and greet like with Raymond the guy that you see um, when you hang out with Raymond is the same guy that you see in private. So like when he and I are hanging out, he's the same dude. Same thing with Cody and same thing with Thor. You know, when we get together and we hang out, the personality that you see is the same. But what's, what's good for these guys is the ability to retreat and focus on the things that are important to them. So for example, Thor loves to create value content. He loves to give you guys value content. Raymond loves to ride his scooter. He doesn't ride it because it's a profession. He rides it because he loves it. Same thing with Cody. He loves what he's doing. Cody loves meeting you guys. And so what I'm finding with these guys is 
a lot of times in building their brands and in building what they're doing, they, they have to learn a lot of skills and they have to dedicate their time to do all kinds of things, you know, like technical development or selling products or, or you know, flying around the world doing all kinds of things. And what I fell in love with as I've been going through this transition is watching the lives of these guys and how they move and how they operate. The things that they've, that they've learned and the things that they've learned to successfully execute that they're willing to give to people to help them become successful. Thor is a prime example of that. I mean, the dude is just, he's super cool, he's really nice, and he's, he's a young guy. He's less than half my age, but the kid is brilliant. I mean, he, he studied Instagram, he studied things for himself, and he has learned how to become an Instagram influencer. So I would highly recommend you follow him. You can follow him on Instagram at Life by Thor and uh, he's a good dude to know. And you're gonna be hearing more from me talking about Thor, but as I continue this journey that I'm on, it's possible that some of the things that I'm gonna begin to share and some of the things that I'm gonna begin to do may not necessarily be all that interesting to all you guys that started following me because of action sports or because of scootering or because of ministry or whatever. But you need to understand that in my life, my passions are changing. My passions are shifting. The things that I, I love to do are changing. It doesn't mean that I'm changing. It just means that I'm kind of moving from one season into another season. So this next season for me is really about connecting with influencers and helping influencers to grow their reach, grow their audience, and grow their value. Because I see great value in what guys like Thor have to offer. I see great value in what guys like Raymond Warner have to offer. They're two totally different schools, right? I mean, Raymond is totally invested in scootering and Thor is totally invested in social media growth. But they have something in common, which is they love to connect with you. And one of the things that I find is they have a gap. They all have a gap. That gap is the ability to do everything that they need to do in the 24 hours that they have in a day. What you guys don't see is all the work that goes in behind the scenes to actually pull off a lot of the stuff that these guys do. You see their cool lives, you see them traveling, you see them doing all kinds of great things, but you don't see all the time that they have to invest to make it happen. And that's a lot of work, man. And there are skill gaps, you know, where they have to invest hours and hours and hours to learn a new skill, where I can see myself, especially as a technology guy, being able to come beside these guys and join myself with them to help them accomplish what they want to do and what they need to do and what they're great at by allowing me to come alongside them and take some of those things off their plate. So for example, with Thor, I built Thor's website. When you go to, when you go to thorrsand.com, it's a cool website, I built it. But I built it for Thor, specifically to help him to further his reach, to grow his audience, and to continue to add value to, to you guys. So anyway, all that to say, you know, a lot of you guys have followed me through the years. It hasn't really been many years. You followed me for various reasons. You followed me because you liked the people I was hanging out with or maybe the content I was sharing. I don't really know. But you guys have all shared very positive things with me through these years, and I greatly appreciate it. I mean, the love and the support that you guys have poured out to me, it means more to me than you'll ever know. And when I tell you guys at the end of my videos, when I tell you that I love you, I really do. I really do love you guys. The, the fact that you take your time to listen to something that I would have to say means the world to me. And I don't take that for granted. So I do love you guys. And I hope that there's something positive. I hope that there's something life-changing that I can somehow impart into you guys through the work that I'm doing, whether it's through a YouTube video or through it's a, uh, through working with a guy like Thor or working with a guy like Raymond or hosts of other people that I'm gonna be connecting with um, in the coming months or years, what you're gonna see happen is I'm not really gonna be focused on action sports. I'm gonna be focused on influencers because I genuinely believe that the influencer economy is truly the new vehicle for knowledge growth. 
and I want to partner with these guys to help them be as successful as they possibly can. I don't really have a desire to be like this super huge YouTuber. I love to know people and I love to be known by people and I love to be appreciated for the work that I do. But you know, whether I grow a, a million followers on YouTube or I have 300 followers on YouTube, it's really irrelevant to me because it's not me that you guys are really interested in. Maybe some of you guys are and I appreciate that. Maybe I shouldn't say that. but. The guys that I connect with I know are the ones that you're really interested in, the ones that you really want to get to know. And I'm, I'm blessed in the fact that for some reason God has given me the ability to connect with these guys, to open doors and to, to hang out with these dudes and to share the knowledge that they have and the gifts that they have and, and just to be able to let you into the back backstage of their lives, you know? So I... I want you guys to still have that opportunity and I, I appreciate the fact that I have that opportunity to bring that to you. So I don't, I don't really have any idea where this YouTube channel is going. I don't really have any idea what kind of videos I'm going to be creating going forward. I don't know what it's going to look like. All I do know is that I'm going to continue to connect with cool people. Again, not just in action sports, but all over the map. They could be public speakers. They could be scooter riders, they could be skateboarders, they could be social media influencers, they could be YouTubers, who knows? But we'll just have to see where it goes. So those of you that have hung around, man, I really appreciate you guys. I do genuinely love you, and I hope that you'll stick around. Even if I'm not producing scootering-centric content, you can still connect with me on Scooty Sauce. Make sure you go to scootysauce.com. We got some cool merch out there that you can pick up. And connect with us on Instagram at Scooty Sauce because it's continuing to blow up. It's so cool. And we're going to do awesome things through there. Kind and I have some plans for coming up around Christmas time. We're going to do some giveaways and cool stuff. So anyway, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for waiting for me for eight months. Thank you so much for all your kind notes and letters, man. I really appreciate it. And I do love you guys. And I'll see you on the next video.